Mike Reese with 2013 Saluki Hall of Fame inductee Joe Wallace. Joe, welcome. Thank you very much. Good to be back. That's how you. Been uh, 30 years since you played. What um, What's it like to go into the hall 30 years after you played? Uh, that's quite an honor, and uh, and I really appreciate having uh, been educated and planning the athletic uh, system of SIU. Never thought much about it, didn't really know it existed or anything like that. And, mm -hmm. um, and I've traveled a lot and been, uh, Sojourn of Life has taken me a lot of places across the United States and different parts of the world. And um, when they finally contacted me, said they've been looking for me for a long time. And uh, <laughs> I'm going, I'm listed in the phone book. But uh, no, I lived in pretty much a lot of time in farm areas, rural areas, and uh, sometimes a couple miles from the mailbox. So. It's kind of be nice to be back in civilization. Yeah. When they said uh, it'd been a long time, they had a hard time finding you, did you say that's just the way I wanted it to be? Oh, no. <laughs> no. I said, uh, you know, do I need to come out of my compound and, you know, electrify the fences? No. I, I had no idea. But they said they had government help, I, whatever that meant. You hit 446 in 1971, an amazing average. Was, was that year when you hit, did you feel like you were always going to get a hit? Uh, no, you never uh, think of it that way. You just, uh, I just love to play the game of baseball and under Itchy Jones, uh, uh, I'd have to credit him with being my mentor. Uh, no, you never, you always hope mm -hmm. that you get hit every time. You just try and, uh, you know, hopefully you don't swing and miss. And uh, hitting uh, 446 was uh, just, it's hard to even think back, yeah. you know, and, and, and how it happened. It was just, I think, the opposing pitching squad just had a propensity to throw the ball where I swung. Yeah. 73, you were an All-American, but didn't hit 446. To you, what was the better year? Um, I, it's hard to discern between the two. Uh, I would have liked to have, uh, more than anything, finished first in the World Series. Mm -hmm or um, just had a, a better year. We, we got beat that year. Uh, Minnesota beat us in the District 4 playoffs, and that was a heartbreaker. Mm -hmm. So to me, it was, uh, it was really all about the team. I didn't think, I just loved to play the game, and, uh, and just uh, all anybody can ask of you is uh, uh, they can't expect you to win all the time, or do you, but just give it your best, and that's what I always tried to do. The Minnesota series is much talked about, or the Minnesota game is much talked about. That was a postseason tournament that was at Carbondale, right? right. Dave Winfield was, yes. was a member of the Minnesota club. What, right. are, what do you pitched, remember about the game? He pitched and batted third and then played left field and batted fourth. Could have vice versa on the third or fourth mm -hmm. play, but what a phenomenal athlete he was. And if I remember right, uh, and I just thought about it now, it seemed like there was a delay in that game, and we had to come back the next day. Oh. for some reason and finish it and we lost. We had a couple innings to finish whether it was nightfall mm -hmm. or weather. I do not remember but I remember uh, just coming out knowing we had a chance but had to do it and when we lost it was uh, it was uh, heartbreaking I think because we wanted to go back to the World Series. Was the 73 team better than the 71 team that got runner-up to USC? Uh, or was 71 better? Boy it's hard to uh, decipher that one. Uh, I really don't know, but I, I just re remember uh, the program down here and the fact that uh, we put a handful of guys in the big leagues off of those teams. So yeah. we had something going for us. SIU baseball was a national program oh, in the 70s, time. wasn't it? Big time. Talk I, about that, would you? Well, we just, uh, I was drafted uh, out of high school by the Astros and I debated whether to sign or not. And I'd never really been away from home. And uh, Carbondale, I had a full ride here and uh, knew a little bit about Itchy Jones and uh, probably the best fundamental coach in the country. Now I know he is, but uh, after uh, playing under him. And uh, I knew it was a great baseball school, wasn't too far from home. And when I got down here, uh, it was just a different realm mm -hmm. of, uh, of baseball. And back then we had the number one free throw shooter. We had the number one men and women's gymnastic team. We had quite a program going here. 
and uh, I was just very uh, busy. I worked out all the time. I ran. I, I studied. Uh, never, you know, wasn't a partier. Pretty straight laced guy, and um, and pretty naive. I was a uh, itchy, probably worried about me being uh, an adrenaline junkie daredevil, you know. <laughs> and uh, probably if I would have had a contract, there would have been a barrage of addendums. So <laughs> stop doing that, and then a list of you know, cliff diving and diving off the dorm roofs and things like that. So but I never thought anything about it, but it just brings back memories. Were you heavily recruited out of high school? Um, I don't know. Probably, I don't know how heavily I had tried out with, uh, actually when I was younger, I was too young and I was uh, trying out for um, Cincinnati and the Pirates and a few organizations that threw a trout together and uh, they were going to uh, sign me, but I was too young. Mm. And uh, other than that, I just, I never paid much attention to it. Uh, my father came up to me during a baseball game late father and uh, uh, and he came up after the game and he said let me congratulate you uh, you were drafted by the Houston Astros and I really didn't know what to think I thought it was great mm -hmm. but I just loved baseball and and um, never really thought about the uh, uh, I don't know the mm -hmm. notoriety or anything like that I think many of us know itchy as a coach who's been in the game for as many years as he's been in the game, a 20 plus year coach. You knew him as a second year head coach. Your first year was his second year. Uh, was he a young coach at the time? Do you recall, I got a young coach. What, what do you recall about that time? Because obviously you've, you've said he was special to you and important to you. He was a very young coach, uh, but he just looked like one of the players. And like I said, I was very naive. I'd never been away from home, very straight laced good family values, good work ethic, and I was always working hard to, uh, I always wanted to play baseball from, you know, a toddler on. And he uh, was able to inculcate uh, upon us the fundamentals, the science of the game, the love of the game, and he did it in a manner that uh, was just like one big family. He took time with people's families, with the fans, with the players, and he reminds me a lot of the present day Joe Gibbs, who I had a pleasure working for uh, for a short time. And uh, where, I mean, that man's won three Super Bowls and two Sprint Cups. Mm -hmm. I think back one was a Winston, whatever they call him now, Sprint Cups. But uh, he was a people person, uh, and he didn't treat everybody the same. Everybody was different, and uh, and. I think he and Joe Gibbs, who is one of my uh, favorite people, good Christian man, uh, he and Itchy remind, and looking back, that's the way I, I look, the way Itchy was. He, we had a broad spectrum of uh, different kind of people, attitudes, personalities, and he was able to mold them all into a good team, and, and like, uh, it was all teamwork. It wasn't about the individual, and he, he just had a mannerism a manner about him uh, that was just gentle and uh, matter of fact and uh, you know you didn't uh, show up umpires you didn't argue you didn't curse he was just like uh, someone that uh, you would trust your kids with mm -hmm. yeah. you uh, talk to us about your big league career you played five seasons in the big leagues uh, yeah I just um, came up through the ranks and uh, I remember being in Midland we had a championship team and they moved me to Wichita Kansas uh, I didn't want to leave of course that was a promotion and uh, uh, but we I didn't want to leave that championship team and uh, but was there for a month and and they um, uh, Neither one of the teams had anything going that thought the season was going to end. In fact, uh, I was going to take Wayne, uh, Jim Tyrone. I don't know if you remember that yep, name. The Cubs. He mm -hmm. uh, played against him in the World Series. Hmm. I think he or his brother missed third base. That's how we beat Texas. <laughs> and uh, But he got called up, and he didn't know what to do with this car. So I said, hey, and the Cardinals are in St. Louis. So they're going to fly him there. And I said, hey, I'll take your car. You go finish out the season. And... We'll park it at my house where my dad parked his camper. It'll be in a fence. Nobody will touch it. 
and you come back and get it when the season's over. He said, okay, that's great. So that was all set. He flew out. Well, the next day before our last game, a guy named V.D. Hemsel was the head of the uh, director uh, Cubs organization in the minor leagues, and he told me I was going to the big leagues. Oh. And he, I till, still remember this day because he, he told other people about it. My first words out of my mouth was, but I got to take Jim's car. I told Jim <laughs> I was going to take his car. He says, we know you did. You know, you drive that car, you know, into St. Louis, you know, get a good night's sleep and show up at the ballpark. And I did that, showed up at the ballpark uh, that night and was starting in center field batting second. Wow. So they got rid of the butterflies real quick. And then it went on. I just love the Cubs. They're still my favorite team. Wrigley Field is awesome. And um, uh, just uh, kind of a wild career, ups and downs. And But... Um, uh, don't think much about it. Don't uh, follow baseball all that much anymore because I'm probably more, I mean, I can uh, decipher any game. Like if I sit down with somebody, mm -hmm. I can say, hey, you should have done this. It looks yeah. easy on TV, but uh, I guess it's, uh, uh, don't talk baseball a lot yeah. unless I get with a friend of mine that used to play or something. <laughs> Congratulations on the Hall of Fame and thank you for the time. Thank you. Joe Wallace, Saluki Hall of Famer.